part four of the Buzz Bubble with Rich Silverstein. Now back to our host, Kevin Kelly, on the Buzz Bubble. Everybody likes to talk about the Super Bowl work and the TV and the what are you doing like, traditional that you love? Like, you know, is there anything outdoor that, that is just great? I was going to just now? ask you. Print? I was just going to say, what's traditional? Yeah, yeah, um, and it's right. Well, I design every day. I mean, what, what's on my camera? Uh, I'm working right now on the Golden Gate Bridge 75th anniversary, and I'm doing 12 images, um, really old school in the sense, okay, first, we're shooting the bridge with no cliches. We're gonna show you scenes that you've never seen before. So I've gotten an elevator, we've got all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, staggering. Um, Claude, who works here as our photographer, he went with me. And so this is going to be separated old school. It's going to be six colors. Wow. And so I still want to work in the old way. But, um, you and know, this it's all fly? digital. Well, it's going to be a whole campaign next year for the 75th anniversary. It's going to be all the flyers, all the images, everything they sell. Uh, you know, it could be calendars and mugs, but I'm creating the, the imagery for the, for the Golden Gate Bridge anniversary. And there's not two news, the pyramids. Okay, there's the Golden Gate Bridge, there's Hoover Dam, there's, I mean, there's certain things you go, oh my God, man built that? Oh, yeah. And I love things that are uh, of substance, and there's nothing better than the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a perfect. Oh, it's amazing perfect. you're not doing any of the cliche views, the iconic views of no, all now. No, no, this, this shot here, I mean, this is, you have to go on the, let me, wow. go, on, let me go on the computer. Oh, wow, you get to see things really on the computer. So you were. So I'm, this is this is I'm sending this to the client right now. This is the first image I'd like to do, mm -hmm. and then the next one. So this is straight down at the tower, top tower, and you look down and there's the moat. Mm -hmm. So the way to create this image here, this little uh, cream. So I'm on the moat, at the other in the middle of the, uh, the bay. You know where the water is like right here. The bay. Right. I'm shooting up. It's just amazing. So it's just showing views so that nobody even realizes that's the lights around that's cool. here where you can walk. And so that's just three of 12 images we're working on. But, so that's very old school and you can't take the designer out of me. I do something every day. I design something every day. I, I, do. I would get very bored if I didn't work. So in between uh, what I'm working on, uh, I'm always doing some work for free or something socially or some artwork. Fantastic. This is great stuff. Planning. I always intrigues yeah. me how it came about, when it came about. Remember when it came over? And... Well, planning when it first came was amazing. I think it's been abused. I think you know, a lot of players don't know what they're doing. I think uh, the best planners <laughs> controversial. <laughs> What is it? It's like, that's I think right. the best planners are art directors and writers, uh, and uh, planners and account people together. Like, it's no, do not wait for, do not wait for on high the Ten Commandments to come down. It's not going to come down. Right. You sit in a room for and you get that Well, the worst is when someone says, well, we don't have the brief yet, so we haven't started. Come on. The brief comes from here and here. How do I use the product? How does the person use the product? It's not, and then uh, the briefs are long. Uh, the word brief is brief. It's one word. Yeah. I get. But they're in the tower so long, it's got to be brief. I get two pages, and I'm going, uh, uh, where's the idea? Well, guess what? The idea is really hard to come up with, so they don't. <laughs> I'm pissed. No, so... I, I think that uh, what I like about planners is their, their intellect. So I'll get them in a room with the art directors and writers and the account people, because the account people are really smart too. Get it together and we'll battle it out or we'll just come, we'll come up with it. Together. Together. Yeah. It's part of the process instead oh, of like, it is. so you'll say the beginning of the process and it's like this. Oh, totally. It's and like I'm this so, now. It's, a, it's, a, it's an idea salad. You just throw what you, you know, know. What you don't see in this video is that I always bring chairs in and everything gets done right here. Let us talk it out. Um, I can't who's on the, who's in the chairs? Uh, the team, the uh, creative team, a creative director, account director, a planner, doesn't matter. Anyone who's responsible for working on the account, probably, you know, you don't really want to go back. 
about six people, but sometimes there's more. Right. Uh, and then we just talk about it. Right. And, and, and then they leave with an idea. Um, I think if you just wait for it, I mean, sometimes magically it happens, but mainly it happens over talk. Right. That's why the virtual office is really scary to me. I yeah, the people that aren't together. Yeah, I, see, I, see. I don't see it. So I kind of work from home. I was like, uh, uh, today, sure. But you know what? No, not in general. So you miss so much. And you also miss, like, it's like the email. Ooh, is that person angry at me? Is the client angry at me? Then you finally call them on the phone. It's like, no, I was just asking a question. You no, know, you don't know the intent. Right. And you don't know the the energy of the email, really. Except if it's all caps. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh. It's all caps. Caps lock. I got an email. All caps. They're pissed. <laughs> do you bring? Do you bring the? Um, so now that you have digital people here, you got more of the tech side. Do you bring them in? Yes. Really? Yes, but I think uh, I don't like to call them the digital people. They're 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 art directors and writers, creative people. The digital people here are there are, are, are creative people. They're, we don't. Yes, we have some people who know more about digital and less about traditional, but we try to mix it all up. We don't have. We have a really good digital um, uh, production department, mm -hmm. and we do have some specialists in digital, but mainly it's just the creative department. Excellent. So let's get to know Rich. It's it's interesting man. Right off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, Let's I yelled see. at two guys today. Oh, God. I said, look, you're the creative directors on this account. Come on, you've got to run it. And they got so upset with me. They said, this account is so hard. And, blah, blah. and, and then they, and they were right about everything they had to say. Uh -huh. But also, I was right that they weren't leaving it. And I just want to say, dude, they're not. Are we digging ditches? Are we working retail at the gap? No, this is good. I know. Fun stuff. I know. Yeah, it's hard. Well, Hal Reine taught me a lot of things, but one is, don't give me problems, just give me solutions. That's all we want. Just come in with the idea and go, wow! I love that. I remember one thing Jeff said last year about Hal. He said, the only thing that made, I don't use the word hard, about working with Hal every day is he wanted to be great. But free. It's like, yeah, and you could see his frustration. What he would do is, he, you know, people would work for two weeks, all night, all weekends. If you go in and you go, manual typewriter, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> he waited, no one came up with it, he did it. <laughs> Could be still got that in here, by the way. Oh, yeah? So the quick roadmap now, we got to get started, but, you know, how we get that together here. Well, it all started in school, which it did. Yorktown High School, Yorktown Heights, New York, which just uh -huh. The only thing they had was uh, an art class where you could uh, maybe carve some wood. But somehow it was drawn to the New York, for the Time Magazine had one page on art. And every time I would open it, I didn't know what I was looking at. I went, that's cool. No, that's cool. So I was drawn to art, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't even know there was an art director, by the way, as a job. And I hardly knew what designers did. But somehow I found my way to go to Parsons School of Design. I, it was like, uh, I want to be hard on the school at the, at the time, I don't think I learned much, but actually I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Going from Westchester County to New York City, New York City was so alive, and you learn a lot, and you soak it all up. And graphic design is what I wanted to do. So I went from graphic design uh, in San Francisco, and then somehow I found my way every year and a half to find another job. I just kind of kept moving. And then I fell into... Rolling Stone magazine, where, and I never done, hey, this is true, I never did any drugs. I mean, that was such a goody goody. No drugs. Don't take drugs, they're bad for you. I, I wish I had, but I didn't. And I got, I, I married the girl I went to high school with. And then I go to New York City, and I wear moccasins and try to be in. That was like a fake hit. But I love design. Then I came out here and I worked for Rolling Stone. What did I know about rock and roll music? But I did, I had a work ethic where you had to get that magazine out every two weeks. You had to get it out. You had to get it out. It right. wasn't not going to get out. Right. And it was interesting. And Hunter Thompson was right. And you'd get all the stuff and you'd get Ralph Stedman um, illustrations that were crazy ass. And you, what the hell? What? 
and so I learned by osmosis. My, my training was just soaking up things. And then um, somebody said, I'll get your book together and send 10 good things to Hal Reining Partners. And uh, it better be good stuff. And um, I did. And I got an interview with Hal said, looks pretty good. And that was it. And maybe the first week he said, you're going to be working with that guy. And um, you're working on this thing called Billy Ball. Well, I, I'm not a baseball fanatic. But Billy Ball was a style of play. It was Billy Martin, who used to be the Yankees, mm -hmm. was the Oakland A's uh, manager. And a reporter at the Tribune in Oakland called it Billy Ball because it was bizarre. It was like Sandlot baseball for pros. They would hide the ball in, in, in the second baseman's mitt. And the guy stepped on one, tag, you're out. It was weird stuff. And so we had a lot of fun with that. While he was actually the A's. That's right. And he was the A's manager. And that's sense. how the word Billy Ball came. Mm -hmm. It was a different brand of baseball is what we wrote. And I got to work with Jeff, Jeff and I. We, he put us together. We got a lot of attention for being very young. And then someday we said, you know, there was Andy Bolden involved there also. And I, it's a long story. The fact is, we wanted to move away from Daddy and see if we could do it on our own. Because he was really good to us. Yeah. And he wasn't very good to very many people. Really? Oh, oh my God. He's a monster. He was terrible. He has a great voice to hear Actually, at this table in that film, I say he was a monster and uh, he was the devil and the angel. Because to us, he was the angel and he was the devil to a lot of That's it for part four of the Buzz Bubble with Rich Silverstein. See what's coming up next week in part five. But the core idea was there. But if you have no core idea, all that other stuff is not. It's just going to be a beautiful turd. We used to, we used to talk about that in the uh, mixing business when I was mixing records. Turd polish. Is it can, got it on the shelf. Anyway. Yeah, so you're polishing the turd. Yeah, I know. Next week on the Buzz Bubble.